afternoon, ladies. Hank Pym, you are such a ham. I'm starting to think that costume makes you look a little bit like a giant-sized serial killer. Really? The suave, romantic British type or the big, hairy Arkansas variety? We'll chop you up and keep your body parts in the freezer, Jan. The latter, unfortunately. But until Giorgio Armani designs a range of casual wear for 60-foot men, I'm afraid the leather all-in-one will have to do. How are your pupils holding up in all this direct sunlight? Fine, as long as I'm wearing the shades. In fact, the only real problem I'm having is how quickly I get hungry after the height multiplication. I feel like I could eat a farm. Well, the first rule of dropping size, darling, never eat before you shrink or things could get seriously messy. God, can you believe we're really going to be superheroes? I mean, you and me, the two biggest science nerds on the planet, fighting for truth, justice, and the American way. To be honest, I'm really just looking at Nick Fury's Ultimates thing as a fresh start for you and me, Dr. Pym. Oh, can't they give us a minute to ourselves? Anything interesting, sweetheart? Jan? In 1945, the world's first genetically enhanced soldier disappears in a nuclear blast 500 miles off the coast of Newfoundland. 24 hours ago, a small team of marine biologists find him perfectly preserved in a block of ice. And this Captain America hasn't aged a freaking day. It's like something out of a Joseph Campbell book, General Fury. A country's greatest hero coming back in the hour he's needed most. I'm just glad I've got 50% of the merchandising rights. <laughs> Man, Bruce Banner must feel like he's reviving Santa Claus on that table down there. Captain America, my name is Dr. Robert Bruce Banner and I'm the new assistant principal of the super soldier program you joined in 1942. I know how this must look, but you really are among friends here, sir. What in God's name is going on, mister? What happened to the Nazi nuclear facility we were dropped in to sabotage? You neutralized the captain. The mission was a success, and the Allies won the war. But not without a price, I'm afraid. How long have I been out, Doc? Actually, that's what we wanted to talk to you about, Steve. We're still not sure if it was suspended animation, or just an unexpected side effect of the super soldier serum, but... Would somebody please just give me a straight answer here? Keep going, keep going. 57 oh, years, shit. Captain. Sorry, Fritz. Your accent's flawless. The highest ranking black man in the U.S. Army is a Brooklyn-born captain I grew up with. For the love of God, Banner. I thought you said we'd be lucky if he was strong enough to talk. I guess I must have dropped a dozen of point somewhere. Attention, Attention all the personnel. Captain America has escaped. What? Captain America has escaped. Oh, you've got to be Well, do you want to take care of this, or will I, Mr. Pym? The situation is well in hand, Mrs. Pym. Holy shit! Well in hand? Are you out of your mind? You just killed Captain America, you idiot! Relax, Stark. He's still wriggling. I guess this little trauma was all the evidence I needed that the Hulk serum was out of my system. Huh, Dr. Pym? Don't sound so disappointed, Dr. Pym. Listen, uh, I'm really sorry about breaking your nose back there, General Fury. Take it easy, Cap. This nose has been smashed more than Robert Downey Jr. And it's you we're worried about right now, soldier. Are you absolutely sure this is the right time to put yourself through something like this, man? Sir, I just found out my fiancé is married to my old best friend. They've got four kids and seven grandchildren. Let's be realistic here. There's never going to be a good time. Fair point. How did Bucky sound on the phone? Like a sick old man who just found out his best friend was back from the dead. This guy's got cancer, so go easy on him, huh? Nick Fury? Hold it one, Corporal Barnes. Now, are you going to invite us in for some coffee, or do I have to pull my gun out on you, old timer? Aw, oh, jeez, I'm sorry, fellas. Here, let me take your coats. And you guys, go grab a seat in the living room, huh? Boys, you run upstairs and tell your grandma they're here, okay? Much obliged, soldier. Interesting little place you got here, by the way. You take all these pictures yourself? Oh yeah, those were my old front pages from the Times and the Post. But they put me out to pasture close to 18 years ago now, General. Gail and I, we just take care of my eldest daughter Sharon's two boys three days a week, so she can get back to work, and... Bucky. It's me, you numbskull. What'd I tell you about those stupid cigarettes, kid? Oh, Stevie. I'm so embarrassed. I wish the ground would just open up and swallow me whole. I swear to God, Steve. I swear to God. We thought you were dead. I feel like Rip Van Winkle, Bucky. All I did was blink, and the whole world just left me behind. 
Mother of God. It's like you just stepped out of an old photograph, buddy. Where's Gail? Still upstairs, getting ready, I think. Boys, I thought I told you to tell Grandma to come down and see us. Gail, what the heck are you playing at, honey? The guy's standing right here in the hallway. I don't care. Tell him I've changed my mind. Why should I listen to him when he never listened to me? I told him they were going to destroy us the minute they started pumping their chemicals into his body. But he wanted to look like a movie star. Oh no, being an ordinary person was never enough for him. Gail, please. I, I just want to see you for five minutes. Not like this you don't, Steve. Believe me. Father, Joseph Harvey Rogers, died February 18, 1954. Mother, Sarah Alicia Rogers, died March 12, 1967. Brother, Douglas Lincoln Rogers, died February 9, 1972. You sure you want me to keep on going, Captain? They're my family, sir. I need to know. Did Douglas ever have any kids? Uh, according to this, Douglas Lincoln Rogers was survived by two children from his last marriage. Would you like us to arrange a reunion? What's the point? Nobody knows me anymore. Even the little kids I remember are all old men now. You should have left me in the ice where I belong, General Fury. Everything I ever loved is gone. Not everything, Captain. Are you really paying these guys $500 a head just to wave a flag? It's a small price to pay for looking good on television, Nick. This lunch party is being broadcast in 42 languages, and the last thing the world wants to see is a bunch of pimple-faced fatties cheering on their favorite super team. Well, you ain't the one justifying half a million bucks on male models in the next budget review. Tasty the Lux you've got there, Banner. Kind of kinky that she's General Ross's daughter, too. Ever wonder what she'd look like in her dad's old arm uniform and a big fake mustache? No, and she isn't my ex, Stark. We're just in the middle of a trial separation. Besides, aren't you supposed to hear with Jennifer Tilly? Oh, yes, but you always have to keep your options open with these Hollywood heartbreakers, Brucey. One minute they're on you like Oprah on a Twinkie, and the next they're a cover story for some limp wristed Scientologist. Pardon me, Mr. Stark. Could you spare a few moments for 60 minutes to explain your sponsorship of the Ultimates? Darling, you have my undivided attention for the rest of the evening. Jarvis, another drink for our former Hulk, if you don't mind. Oh, of course, sir. After all, I am but your lowly butler, and my time isn't nearly as precious as your superhero aristocracy. Oh, cheer up, Master Bruce. You're not the only man who's ever been alone in a crowd, you know. Kevlar costume, Captain America jet, Captain America tank, I feel like I'm playing with my old G.I. Joe again, Mr. President. I haven't had this much fun in years. Tell him about the shield we designed for him too, Hank. What would Captain America be without a shield? Is he as strong as expected, General? Stronger, sir. Is he smart? Off the scale, Mr. President. There's genuinely nobody in existence I'd rather have leading this team while they're out there on the field. I don't see anyone acting up for a while. Do you, sir? No, I don't, General Fury. No, I don't. Well, what's your verdict on the 21st century, Captain America? Cool or uncool? Cool, Mr. President. Definitely cool.